Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel I hope you're doing well so guys in this video I'm going to show you how to compress a large video file into a smaller video file and definitely without losing quality so without further ado, no, let's get started okay first of all we have to download an application called Handbrake now Handbrake is a free and open source video transcoder and this is available in Windows, Mac or Linux. So even if you are in Mac or Linux, you can still follow the tutorial. To download Handbrake, go to handbrake.fr and click on the red button and it will be downloaded. After that, just install the application, it's simple. Now after installing the application, if you open it for the first time, you should see an error something like this which says you have to install the .NET framework to run this application. Now if you already have .NET installed in your PC, this won't show up, so you can follow the next steps. But if it doesn't have it installed, you can just click on yes and it will redirect you to Microsoft.NET webpage and you can just download it from there as well. I'll put the link in the description below. After that, install it and restart your PC. After restarting your PC, open Handbrake again and you should see a window something like this. Now here, whether you can drag and drop a video file or a folder that contains one or multiple video files. So I have this video here and I want to compress this video and in case you want to see the size of this video you can just click on these properties and you can see the size is 118 megabytes. So I'm going to just drag and drop this video here and here in the source you can see the properties of a main video and in order to compress the video you can choose a preset from here as well. There are tons of presets here and you can choose any of this but I don't like this presets that much so I'm going to go with the default. And in the summary tab, you can choose a video format. I will always suggest you select MP4 because MP4 file is widely supported in many platforms and many websites. And you can even choose these options whether you need them or not. And in case if you don't know anything about it, you can just hover over them and read the whole thing about this. And then move to Dimensions tab. Now, if your video is horizontally flipped, then you can fix it by clicking on Horizontal Flip button. More like a uh, horizontally recline. And then if a video has a rotation like 90 degree, 180 degree or 270 degree, then you can even fix it from here as well. So for now, I don't have any rotation in this video, so I'm going to choose zero. And in the croppings, you can crop your video. So from the drop down list, select custom. And here you can add values on the top, bottom, left and right. Now if you want to get the cinematic bars on the top and the bottom, then you're gonna add 10 values on the top and 10 values on the bottom and that should do it. And on the right side you can see the resolution and scaling. In the resolution limit always choose the resolution of your main video. Which in this case is 1080p which is Full HD. And other than that I would not suggest you mess with these features. So you can move to filters tab. And here in the filters tab you can denoise the footage, you can chroma smooth the footage or even sharpen your footage. But to be honest, I don't use it that much and I would not recommend you use it here. I would recommend you use it in a video editing software like Premiere Pro, After Effects or even DaVinci Resolve. So next, go to Video tab. Now pay attention guys because this is the most important part of the video. Here you can choose a video encoder. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card then use it as a video encoder. Now if it doesn't have a NVIDIA graphics card then you can use H.264 or H.265 as a video encoder. Now H.265 is the newer version of H.264 but the problem with H.265 is that it is not supported in many platforms and many websites. So I'm gonna recommend you use H.264. And here in the frame rate choose the frame rate of your main video which in this case is 30 frame rate or 30 fps. And on the right side you can select your quality. And always choose the constant quality. Now in case you don't know what quality factor you should need here you can just hover over this set icon and it will tell you that 18 to 20 is for standard definition and 20 to 23 is for higher definition. Now the higher the quality will be, the bigger the size will be. So I'm gonna select 23. And here in the constant quality, as the quality factor drops, the quality of the video increases. And it will take more space on your hard drive. Now here in the encoder options, you can select your encoder speed. Now the slower the encoder speed will be, the better quality you will get with smaller size. So always select slow or very slow. It will take some time to encode a video but trust me the quality of the video will be much better. And after that you can move to audio step if you have audio in a video. And here in the codec always choose ASC. 
Now here in the bitrate always select anything in between 160 to 320. The lower the bitrate will be, the worse the sound will be. And the higher the bitrate will be, the higher the quality will be. But it will take more space on your hard drive. So I'm gonna select 160 for now. Now if you have a subtitles in a video, you can add it from here or even like give it a name from here as well. And after that if you wanna see how it will look after encoding, you can just click on this preview. And here in the duration, choose uh, 10 frames and click on live preview and you can see the preview here now if you like the preview of the video you can just start encoding but if it doesn't like the preview you can just go to the videos tab again and do some modifications and click on start encode but before that we have to select a path where we want to save this file or video so uh, for now i'm gonna select the video folder and click on save and always select dot mp4 after that just click on start encoding now as I said, if the encoder speed is very slow, it will take some time to encode it, but the quality will be much better. So let's wait around 30 seconds. Okay, so our encoding is done and if I go to the videos folder, here is our video. And as you can see the size of the video is only around 5 megabytes, which is really really compressed. And in case if you're suspecting me is that is it the same video or not, you can see the duration of the video is here only 1 minute and 39 seconds. And here is the main video, which is also 1 minute and 39 seconds. So that's for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please make sure to give a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell to get next videos like this. My name is Simon and I'll see you in the next one.